guys, it's Haley, and today I wanted to do a book haul. Um, you may notice be, if you followed my channel for any amount of time that this is probably like one of my favorite videos to do. Um, because I have a lot of videos, a lot of book hauls on here, so I'm just gonna get into it. Um, some of these are like, uh, thrift store finds, and some of them I bought from like, um, other bookstores. Um, so yeah, I'll just tell you about them when I get to them, but I'm just gonna get into it. The first book that I have is Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the first in the series. I actually already have this one, but I only, I got it at a thrift store as an ARC, and this was the finished copy, and it's like really in really good condition, and so I just wanted to buy it again. I mean, I bought it at the thrift store this time too, so I didn't pay, I paid like a dollar, I think, for it. Um, so this is the first book in the series. I haven't read the series yet, but I've been reading her Raven Boy series, and I've been really loving it, and so, um, I've been curious about this. And I found at the same time, Linger, which I believe is the second book in this series, and, um, it was, this one, I don't, this one is in really good condition, but you can see that it's been read, like, the spine, I don't know if you can see, but, like, the spine, it's been read. This one, I don't think they even read it. It's, like, stinking new. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't. And so I, like, I found them, and I was like, well, I only have this one in an arc, so I might as well buy them both so they match. So, yeah, that was a really cool find. I found them both at the same thrift store at the same time. Um, I also found The Screw Tape Letters by C.S. Lewis. I have not read this book either. Um... But I've been really curious about it, and I've heard wonderful, like, really good things about it. So, that. I also found Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. Um, this one, I'm, to be honest, I haven't had a whole lot of interest in it, but I got it at the thrift store, and it was never read. It's, like, so, like, brand new. And I was like, well, I'd like to have it on my shelf, even if I don't get around to having it, but once I was, like, looking into it, I was like, this might be something that I will enjoy. So I bought it. Um, another book that I found at the thrift store, I bought, I have a knack for, like, buying, like, tons of books at thrift stores all in one sitting. Um, my mom wanted to go to get jeans, and I just walked out with a bunch of books, but whatever. The next book I found was, um, The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Herod Fry, Harold Fry, um, by Rachel Joyce, and this, I believe, is on my TBR on Goodreads. It sounded super familiar, and that's really why I bought it. Like, I feel like it's on my TBR, and so I just picked it up. I don't know very much about it. It's like a man, and he's older, and he goes on, like, a quest for something, but it sounded really interesting, so I picked it up. It was like a dollar. Um, this one's an ARC, too, and I found it at the thrift store. It looks like it came out April of 2017. The Inconceivable Life of Quinn by Marina Bear. Um, and this one too, like, never read book. Like, and I just have something for, like, you find a never, a not read brand spanking new book at the thrift store and I have trouble, like, just leaving it there. So there's a lot of, like, new books at the thrift store that I was like, I'm gonna buy it. But I was like, I'm never gonna read this. So it took a lot of self-control because it's just a new book and I want a new book for, like, a dollar. Um, so I have a problem. But this one sounded really interesting. She gets, like, pregnant, but she's a virgin or she thinks she's a virgin. And so she's trying to figure out how... You know, like, if it was a divine pregnancy or how she got pregnant. And this sounded like a book that I'll either really, really enjoy or really, really hate. And so I just bought it. <laughs> like, it's, you know, one of those books that's, like, I could, like, really, like I said, I could really, really love it or I could really, really hate it. I don't feel like there's an in-between. But I could be wrong. I could just mildly enjoy it, but I just feel like, yeah, it could, it could go either way. And it was a dollar, so worth it. Okay, so then um, I bought these next ones at a local bookstore in town. Um, I like to buy a lot of my books there, if at all possible, um, to support my local bookstore. Um, so I'll usually try to buy it there before buying it on Amazon or somewhere else. Um, but definitely if I'm going to buy, if I'm at Barnes & Noble, I usually try 
to not buy it at Barnes and Noble and buy it at my local bookstore because if I'm gonna pay full price, I might as well pay full price for lo shopping locally because I really believe in like um, supporting your local businesses because my family owns a local business and you want to keep the businesses around. And so I live in a small town in a small place and so it's very important to me to keep a bookstore in town because if this bookstore goes out of business, we don't got much else. So, the, I'll, I'll step off of my soapbox now, but that's just my little tip for you. Shop locally if you can. Um, anywho, so at this local bookstore I got, um, and what I also like about our local bookstore is that they also do, like, used books. So I look for used books there sometimes because I can get them at a discount and not pay full price. And I also look for paperbacks because those are always cheaper and I don't care. So, another tidbit for you. Um, but so at this uh, bookstore I got A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. And then after I bought it I watched a lot of videos of people saying this was one of the worst books they've ever read. So I don't know. But this book sounded really interesting to me. Um... I don't really know much about it. I think I've said this in previous videos. I like to go into books not knowing a whole lot. Or when I buy books, I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm going to buy it. And then I'll just get into it. And I just enjoy, for the most part, reading books like that. There's some books that I do know a whole lot about. And that's why I read them. But for the most part, I enjoy reading books blind. But so, I've heard a lot about this. Don't know a lot about it. Um... It just sounded really interesting, and it's been calling to me at the bookstores for, like, a long time, so I just finally, like, gave in and got it. It was ten bucks, so I was like, oh, yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah. If you've heard, if you've read this or you've heard better things, let me know in the comments below, because, yeah. I was watching a video, and they are like, this is the worst book I've ever read in my life, and I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> but I'm still willing to give it a try. Um, okay, so the next book that I got, um... Was a Wrinkle in Time um, by Madeline Lee Lingle? Lingle? Lee Engle? I am probably said this before too, but I can't say names for the life of me, so there's that. This is the movie cover. Um, I don't have this book, I've never read this book. I know that it's very popular, um, and so I really want to read this, um, so I just picked it up, and it was a good price. And I didn't mind. Sometimes I'm kind of iffy about the movie covers, but this one I didn't mind. Um, I also picked up um, a series of unfortunate events, book six, um, by Lemony Snicket. I collect these when I find them. Um, and this was one that I was missing, and my sister's been reading mine. And she was like, this book, this is the one that you're missing, and I'm going to be reading it soon. So it was, this is a used book, and it was six fifty. So I was like, sure, why not? Um, and I just, I, the Lemony Snicket books are ones that I like to collect. I usually really, if I'm reading a series, uh, or if I'm like collecting a series, I just like find them at thrift stores and stuff and then just pick them up. Um, I don't like to buy them in box sets a lot of times because I like the fun of like finding them places. There's like newer books that I've been reading that I bought the box set. Um... For the most part, like, the series, and for the longest time I was collecting, um, the C.S. Lewis Chronicles of Narnia books. Um, I did find that box set at the thrift store, but I do like to collect those things. And also with the Percy Jackson, I was collecting those for a really long time, and then, um, my friend, um, she passed away, and so her mom gave me the her box set, so now that's, like, really special to me, and I just kept that and got rid of my other ones. Um... But yeah, that's kind of like off topic, but if you want to know how I collect books, these next books I either got as a present or I got in a box, a bookish box or a page. I think that these books in particular I got in page habit boxes. But this book I got for my sister for Valentine's Day, um, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I still have not read it. Um, I've been doing this weird thing, like Sarah Destin and John Green have been my favorite authors for a really long time. Um... And so I have not read their newest releases because I just don't want them to be done for me yet. Um, so I've been kind of holding out, but I'm really going to want to get to this soon. I'm sure everybody knows what this one's about because it's just this book. But And it's been so much talk it's been talked about so much. Um, but so I was kind of waiting to get this book and I asked for it at Christmas and I didn't get it. And so then she gave it to me on Valentine's Day and so I'm super excited to have it. Um, these books I got in my page habit boxes, so they have annotations on them. 
Um, so this one's Reign of the Fallen, and they have all the post-its in them. Um, Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. Let me take the post-it off the front. But yeah, there's that. I don't know much about this book, but I've heard so many good things, and my friend wants to buddy read it with me, so I'll probably get to this soon. The next book I also got in my page habit box, and it's The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza by Sean David Hutchison, and I'm really excited about this. It looks super cool. It's by the same author who wrote We Are the Ants, which I haven't read, but I've heard a lot about. Um, and this cover is just really pretty. But yeah, I'm really, like, perplexed by this book, and I'm, I think that this one will be one that I get to really soon. But I say that about all books because I'm just unrealistic about my situation. These next books, I was in Salt Lake with a friend, and we went to Barnes & Noble, and so I broke my, like, no Barnes & Noble rule because I like to buy books. Don't sue me. Um, this next one is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. Did I say it right? You can tell me below. I'm sure everybody knows about this one, too, because it's been out since, like, 2011. I'm late to the party, and, like, the new one just came out. And so I'm really curious about this series, and so I really wanted to start it, and they had it, and I was just like, yeah, I just need to have it. So I bought it. The next one is The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the second book in the Raven Boys trilogy, or the Raven Cycle. I always say the wrong thing. Um, the Raven Cycle. Uh, I read the first one, and I have it, and I just wanted to have I tried checking the second one out at the library, but I just decided that I really wanted to have it. And so, I, because after I finish some books that I'm reading currently, I want to continue on with the series and finish it. So I just wanted to have the second book. And then the last book that I have is The Bassoon King by Rain Wilson. And this is Rain Wilson from The Office. And I love him. And it was six bucks. And I was just like, no freaking way. And so I just thought it looked so great. And it just says, my life in art, faith, and idiocy. I'm just like, yeah. I'm, I'm all about it. I love mm, autobiographies, mm, memoir type things. The, you know, I just, I'm here for them. So I was excited to have it. Um, and then at Target, these aren't books, but they're book related. And I get really excited about them, so I wanted to show you. Um, I got in the dollar section, they have these little, like, book flags. And so I made a flower, and I was super excited about that. And I also got these that are, like, tabs and post-its and stuff. And I like to mark a lot of notes for book club. Also, I just like to have them in my regular books. Um, so, yeah, I bought those. But that is my humongous book haul that I have for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've read some of these books and you want to talk to me about them, I would love to, for you to leave a comment below. Um, yeah, if you know about a list of cages and you have a better um want to let me know if you didn't like it as well I would be curious um but I'm excited to get to these books and I'm excited to show them to you um so I hope to be bringing another video to you guys hopefully very soon thanks for watching guys